creating ISO 10. So in looking at ISO 10, I noticed that it has a unique shape and we can use a tool in Onshape called the slot tool to create the shape and then to drill some holes through it. So let's go to Onshape. Sorry about that. Let's go to Onshape and create ISO 10. Okay, so for this shape, we're going to draw it on the top plane. So we'll create a sketch on the top plane. And this will give us an opportunity to use a different type of line, and that's called the construction line. So if I click on the line tool, and then I click on to change it to a construction line, I can click and click, and now I'm going to hit escape. And now I have a construction line, and I know that's a construction line because it's got the dotted lines. Okay, I'm going to go back and choose solid and just hit the escape key because the next tool I'm going to use is called the slot tool. So you might see this in your menu or you might see the slot tool. So creating the slot tool, I'm going to click on the dots and I've created, whoops, so click on the dots. Let's try that again and hit the enter key. And now I have a slot tool. So I have the slot shape, but it's not exactly correct yet. So let's get into dimensioning. Looking at my figure, I can tell the midpoint from this circle to the midpoint of this circle is exactly two inches. And the width of the whole object is one inch. So let's go back to on shape and we're dimensioning. We wanna dimension this line. I find it easier sometimes to dimension by choosing the endpoints. Okay, I'm going to make this two inches. Hitting the escape key will allow me to change this, and I'm going to change this to a one. Okay, I'm going to save that, and we're going to extrude it a half an inch tall. So that it looks like this. Okay, so now going back, I see that this arc is one inch and the width is one inch and that arc is one inch. Okay, we need to create some circles and remove them. So we're going to create some points and then we're going to use the whole tool. So to do that, I'm going to create a new sketch on the top face of the object. And I'm going to use the point tool. So the point tool is right here. I'm just going to click and kind of eyeball it and try to create a point here. And notice if I move my pointer like that, I could stay right on the line. And a point here. OK, so I have my two points. And now let's do some dimensioning. I know that this needs to be a half an inch, put it in the center. And I know that this also needs to be a half an inch from the edge to put that in the center. Okay, and it should be there. Okay, the next thing I need to know, okay, and we can remove this because since they were lined up, we know that that's true. The next thing I need to know is that these circles are exactly at a distance of, let's see what that distance would be. So the center of this circle is exactly two inches from the center of that circle. Okay, so that should be a two. Okay, you'll notice that that jumped me over a little bit, so that doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to need to do another constraint. Now we try not to constrain on a curve, but in some cases we might have to. So if I make that a half an inch, that'll jump it. These are both even and I have my holes, excuse me, my, my points. 
So having my points, I'm going to create some holes. And I'm going to do that using a 3D tool. So I'm going to use the hole. I'm going to say I want the hole to go all the way through. And then the diameter of that hole is going to be a half an inch. Okay, so a half an inch, it's going all the way through. And I'm going to do that to this circle and to this point. Okay. And now I have a simple slot with two holes. All right, let's just go back to our isometric view and take a look at the next portion. So the next level, it looks like it's a concent two concentric circles, um, a hole drilled through the middle, and then the circle extruded up. So to do that, we'll create a sketch on this face. Okay, we'll look at it from this direction. And we're going to create a circle, finding that center point. And the first circle is going to be exactly a one inch diameter. Okay, the second circle from the same point is going to be a half an inch diameter. Okay, so now that I have those two circles drawn, I can choose just that circle and extrude up another half an inch. So I'm going to extrude and I'm going to go a half an inch. And this is the portion that I'm extruding. And there you have it, ISO 10.